Well, hey everybody, I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside and welcome to Correspondences for Work and Magic on Tuesday, the 7th of September, 2021. Well, um, favorability today, today of, for Work and Magic is excellent. Uh, Mars is governing, so you're looking at workings involving passion, manifestation, creativity, self-assertion, and reducing conflict. Um, but what I'm going to suggest today is working with a numerology table and a magic square uh, to then uh, create your own sigil. Um, in the past, what we've done is use the use runes to do this. And you could actually uh, uh, change the letters in the numerology table if you are wanting to work with runes. You can do it that way and uh, put the runes in their place uh, of, of the actual uh, English letters. Um, but for today, we're just going to work with the magic square as it is and the uh, numerology table as it as it normally is. And so what I'm recommending here, um, given that the favorability is excellent and that conflict continues and the intimidation and potential violence uh, that seems to be a component is still happening. And actually, I would argue getting worse. You know, um, we're seeing it at school board meetings. We're seeing it at city council meetings. So if you are involved in anything like that, then it might be something that that you might use in a situation like that. Um, but what I'm going to advocate here today is uh, either creating a, a bind rune of sorts or a talisman, again, using either runes if you're more comfortable with that, or a magic square. And, I'm, and I've given the, I've, I've given the uh, uh, examples of that on the Patreon post. So if you're a Patreon member, you'll see that there. Otherwise, you're just going to have to Google those and look up what, magi what a magic square, a nine section magic square looks like, and then uh, what the, the, the uh, numerology tables look like. You can Google that and you'll find that. Um, but we're, we can uh, do that to use in either a spell or to carry with you. Uh, and carrying with you probably is really important, especially if you're going to be involved in any kind of conflict uh, or potential conflict. Um, even if you're not directly involved, you're just there, right? So um, I kind of view this more as a grigri bag. You can also do that. Or you can also, they're also called charm bags and mojo bags, sometimes hex bags, depending on, on the purpose, really. But um, the grigri bag I'm suggesting uh, that you can make today, um, it can, I usually do them, and where do I have them? Uh, little muslin bags uh, that are, you, they have drawstrings. I, I have, I buy those in quantity. I like to use those really well, or you can use, um, a particular color that, that works for you today. Reds uh, are Mars colors. So something like that could be used. Um, or black, if you're, you know, it depends on what the purpose is and, and you're going to define that yourself. So anyway, um, Let's see, if using a magic square, choose a, uh, a word or a short phrase, even an individual's name, if you know someone's going to come and cause conflict. You could take their name, remove all the, uh, either the whole name or just the first name or whatever, or the last name, whatever you can work with. Um, remove all the vowels, take out any repeating letters that are left, okay? And then... Uh, Go to your numerology table and the letters that are left, find the numerological equivalent and write it down below, all right, each letter. Uh, and then from there, take your magic square and beginning with that first number, that's going to be, and in the example I have on the, on the uh, Patreon post uh, is one I've done before. My first letter in that example began with the number five. Okay, it corresponded to the number five. And so I began at the five, I moved to the nine, I moved up to the two, over to the three, and down to the eight. And there was my sigil, okay? And that's what I want you to do with this. That's how you're going to work with that, with a magic square and the numerology chart to then create a sigil. And I've, and I've got those examples, like I said, on the Patreon post, so you can see that there. Um, but it's really very simple to do. Uh, and then once you have that, 
uh, you're going to draw it again on a piece of paper, uh, just a small you know, piece of paper that you're then going to roll up into a scroll. You can tie it or not, but usually I tie it with, a, with some embroidery floss or some hemp cord or something like that. Um, just whatever I've got. But you, I, I usually try to keep it you know, thin uh, when I do it so it doesn't overpower the, the scroll itself. Place it in the Grigri bag or you know, on the swatch of fabric if you're, gonna, you're going to tie one up if you're not using an actual bag you can tie one up with a I, I like to use a swatch about you know yay big and then you can put everything in the center and then tie it up with a string uh, let's see um, put that in there um, uh, and then put a little dragon's blood incense in there uh, some dried rue some dried wormwood and a garlic clove okay now dragon's blood incense is for strength and clarity uh, the rue, the wormwood, the garlic, it's for protection and removing uh, a negativity. And then uh, if you want to, and you can use your best judgment here as to what essential oils you want to drop on there, but a couple drops of clary sage is very nice for, for clarity. But if you have a, a an essential oils chart, um, then uh, there's one in uh, actually the latest book I wrote called Herbal Magica. You'll find one in there or just Google it and you'll see what the different different uh, magical uses are for essential oils, what they do. And then and then if you don't have any clary sage, you have something else, then, then drop a few drops on there uh, just to make it smelly. And, uh, uh, and then there you go. Tie it up if it's a swatch you're using or, or secure the drawstring. Uh, you know, bless and consecrate it for your, hold it in your hands and do that, focus your intention on it. You can pass it through some smoke if you want to burn some sandalwood. You can do that and then pass the bag through the smoke just to give it a little extra uh, power for, for what you're going to do with it. And then either carry it with you or what you can do uh, if say, say, say you're going to... Uh, Say you're going like to the school board meeting or a city council meeting and you know it's going to be volatile. You can take that bag and you can either carry it with you on your person or you can place it, say, near the door or something in a hidden spot, basically, close to the doorway or, or somewhere. Or if they're going to be speaking at a podium, you might hide it in there. And then maybe that will then help diffuse the situation a little bit and help people uh, engage with a little more clarity. So that's a really positive way that you can work with something like that. It doesn't have to be something where you're trying to harm anybody. Not at all. This is just a way to keep the, the energy in a little more balanced and uh, uh, calm, maybe, hopefully, fashion than what it might otherwise be. So that's, that's what I'm recommending. Uh, you know, uh, to do today. And that way you get to work with, if you haven't worked with magic squares and conversion tables and all of that before, you could, this is the way you can do any kind of sigil. Uh, it does not have to be done from runes. It does not have to be done from anything other than the word or phrase that you choose that best represents your intention. And again, if you're trying to deal with an individual, their name works just as well. Uh, the table itself, um, I like to work with this particular one. You can also work with planetary squares. You can do the same thing. If you had the Mars planetary square, you could do that. But you're still only working with numbers 1 through 9 as a possibility. And on those squares, you're going to see, you know, numbers that are, that are, bit, that are two digit numbers as well as those. But you can still use it. It's just you got to be aware of where they are and, and, and you can do that. In fact, you can draw your own planetary sigil uh, from something like that as well. So, um, so you can use that too. But to start out with, if you're unaccustomed to doing this, then I would start with just the one through nine uh, uh, magic square and, and, and work with that. So anyway, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again tomorrow. Be good to yourself. Be good to one another, and blessed be.